Hello and welcome to another Polyworks video. My name is Keith, I'm from 3D Scanners UK and today here at 3D Scanners I'm joined by a special guest and I'll let him introduce himself. Thanks Keith. Hi, I'm Madge from Measurement Solutions. Um, we are UK and Ireland uh, partners for Vertec Vision. Uh, Vertec are market leaders uh, for laser projection technologies and have been established well over 35 years. Uh, laser projection is utilised mainly in the composites industry for layup, uh, part assembly and many, many other uses. All right. Uh, so what is it you're going to show us today? Okay. Uh, so, so today's opportunity, we're going to be showing uh, three unique workflows where we're going to be utilising the laser projector in conjunction with the Polyworks uh, metrology software. And the three workflows we'd like to show today is one using the laser projector to firstly to project the contour deviation, the, the measurements uh, of, from the colour map directly back onto the tool surface. So an automated process where once a colour map has been generated or an inspection, the Vertseker will project directly back onto the tool. The second workflow is utilising the laser projector to guide the operator uh, for manual probing. So probing assistance effectively of where to take measurements. And thirdly, we will utilise a scan data again for non-contact applications where uh, we can automatically extract the points and then project back the points that are out of deviation. Excellent. Okay, so what do we have here, Madge? Right, Keith, so what we have here is Vertex latest generation laser projector. Um, it's called the VPS-1. Uh, what this effectively has is uh, obviously the laser source and then two integrated cameras. Okay, so, so how does it actually work? Uh, what do you need? Okay, so the Vertex laser, typically the, job, the data that it projects back, it comes from CAD data, okay? And the way the systems work is you've got two mirrors um, controlling the laser light source. Uh, the information from the CAD is effectively an outline of, of the actual geometry. So you will project back the geometry directly from CAD. Mm -hmm. um, and so the Verta just needs two bits of information. It needs obviously what we call the projection data straight from CAD and also a calibration file. So that's where this has to be aligned to the tool or the part. So similar to a metrology device, we carry out an alignment. So it just needs two bits of information. Mm -hmm. So how would, uh, how would you acquire uh, that information? Typically. Okay, so the projection data uh, we'll see shortly. Uh, obviously, we're going to go directly through Polyworks. Um, typically, that uh, we can go straight from a CAD, uh, select the projection data, either from a direct CAD OEM system or through Vertex own PDC software. That projection data is stored in a folder ready to project. And the other alignment file is effectively uh, a minimum six corners of, of targets, which is what it will used to a flash, a line, and then start projecting. Okay, how do you create that text file, uh, the, the target files? Okay, so typically with certain tooling, you've already got the location of these features. If not, you will need some kind of metrology device. Mm -hmm. uh, today, we're gonna to be using Careerform's uh, C-Track and MetroScan system mm -hmm. um, to carry out the demonstration. Uh, so what we will do is we'll use the, 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 Metros, the c track to detect targets on the tool. One benefit of the Creoform and the Vertic is they utilize the same targets. So once we've carried out the alignment uh, in the Creoform Polywork software, we are already ready to project. The, 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 the alignment is identical to what the Vertic will to utilize. Oh, okay. So it optimizes that setup even quicker. Excellent. Does that mean you're limited to only this hardware with the Creoform systems? No. Uh, obviously, in terms of the workflows with the Vertic, any probing or scanning device that is supported by Polyworks uh, we, can, we can demonstrate the exact same process. Excellent. Uh, what kind of range does this camera uh, projection have? Yeah, there's a couple of ranges. There's a standard uh, six meter range, which is what we have here. Um, and the way the systems work is if you're, for example, five meters away from the surface, the projection area is five by five meter squares. So it's quite a large area. Mm -hmm. There's also a long range system as well that goes up to 20 meters. Right. Um, the accuracy, yeah, the, the, the strength of major benefit of these systems are the accuracy. Um, for the standard range, we're looking at 0.38 millimeters in that range. Wow, so only two variants to, uh, yep. to decide between. Um, so what, what kind of um, application or industry would you typically find these in? Yeah, I touched on the, uh, the composites earlier on, so predominantly used aerospace composites. However, we see a lot of uh, applications, uh, again in motorsport for composites, Formula One, uh, a lot of yellow goods, heavy industry, uh, fabrications, uh, welding fabrications, prefabs. Uh, paint masking, decal placement, effectively anything that needs uh, manual assembly, uh, this can streamline that process. 
Okay, uh, and is this system designed to be a portable system or a fixed position? Yeah, good question. So a lot of the applications I've discussed, they're typically um, in a fixed cell. They'll, they'll be in the roof looking down at the tools. However, we can also use these as a portable setup. Uh, the, the, the unique features of Vertex, especially the flash line, which we'll see shortly, lends itself to that because we can utilize one projector, move into position, and because of the optical cameras, it will instantly align to that tool and start projecting. So these can be moved around at all. You can also um, add as many projectors to the same project if you wanted to extend your field of view okay. or, or your line of sight. So you can actually combine multiple projectors for much larger applications. How does this work in conjunction with Polyworks? Yeah, so what, what you'll see in the actual application demonstrations later is we're going to use Polyworks to connect to the metrology device, CreaForm, from where we will scan the component. We will run the macros through Polyworks. It will automatically save both the calibration file, the target file, and also the projection data. Polyworks will be used as the engine in between your metrology device and exporting all the data that's required automatically for Vertex to literally uh, switch on and start projecting the, those results. Excellent. And these macros obviously uh, are tailored to the customer's needs. They can be re relatively generic or they can be very specific to uh, certain applications. Uh, so yeah, let's see you in action. So we have a, a Polyworks inspection project with the CAD models uh, already imported of this rear car door. Uh, what we're gonna do is jump into our scanning system. And in the case we're scanning with the, uh, the Creoform uh, metro scan uh, and our part has eight targets on there which this system can track And now that we've finished scanning, this data should be sent straight to Polywix when we accept the scan. Finalize the process. And then before we continue with the alignment, just gonna quickly clean up some of the scans. Get rid of any bits we don't need. And then perform just the basic uh, alignment process. In this case, performing a best fit alignment Obviously, the alignment uh, isn't specific to the best fit. We can perform technically any alignment we need, but for demo purposes, we're just going to go with a basic best fit. Again, just clean up some of the extra, stand, uh, extra bits of data we don't need. Next thing we're going to do is apply a colour map so we can see what deviations we have on our part. And we've created a specific colour map that we can apply to this, which is showing us any kind of uh, deviations below the surface. So everything above the CAD surface will be just the red, uh, and then anything between kind of zero and one mil is a light green, anything deeper than one mil is a dark blue and you can see some highlighted spots within our CAD model and from our scan. Before we continue, let me just quickly rename this colour map. Vertex colour map. And then to send uh, this information into a for file format that the Vertex system can um, read, we have macros that we've created which will help us automate this process for us. Uh, depending on how much uh, information you want to transfer across, these macros can be tailored per customer uh, and make the system even more automated if we wanted to. In this case, it's just a matter of clicking on, oh, well, let's save the project first, call it a new inspection.
and then we can run this macro to export the information that we need. With this color map, uh, we have what we call an enhanced coloring turned on. This simplifies the colors and applies a polyline or a contour around the boundaries of these different colors, uh, allowing us to uh, produce polylines. And these polylines can then be transferred across into the uh, Vertex RS software to project onto the physical part. The calculation is now complete. Um, the macro has concluded by exporting all the polylines of all the contour maps directly into the Vertec database, the Iris software. It just needs one other bit of information, and that is the calibration or target file. Now, Creaform and Vertec utilize the same retro reflective target. So, what I can do here is to firstly export uh, the calibration file. That's a simple text file of the retro reflective targets. Once that's been exported, we can bring those back into Polyworks as a point cloud. At the same time, we can apply those positions active to that uh, relative to the active alignment. So now the career form retro reflective targets are relative to the active alignment, the CAD coordinate system. And we're going to use the other automated macro here to export those targets and directly into the Vertec database, the Iris software. That's now complete. So with all information ready, we're going to switch over to the Vertec Iris software. Database is ready. We're going to open up this projection. The Vertec will instantly track, scan those targets and start projecting the first layer. As you can see on the left hand side. So the blue areas that were calculated from the color map, they are now being shown directly onto the tool with instant alignment from the Vertec relative to the part. As you can see, there are four layers um, in the IRIS database, um, and that's down to Polyworks, the Polyworks macro that is able to filter data that's not required. In this instance, we wanted to focus on these four areas that were calculated as um, material um, below deviation, below one millimeter. So another application we can uh, use the Vertex system for is to help us guide our probe points. Um, so rather than just having Polyworks give you audio tone to tell you how close or far you are from the points, uh, rather than looking back at the screen to see how close or far you are uh, from these points, we can actually have these points projected onto our part and get visual guidance straight away so we know exactly where to go to be probing these comparison points. So let's show you that in action. I can start by just creating some comparison points on our part. So I'll just anchor, say, three random points on the surface apart. With those created, I'm going to group them together. Oops. Edit group. And I'm also going to rename them and add at the end vertex. And this is only so that the macro can see exactly what uh, needs to be converted. So if I now run this. Uh, macro here, which will project our nominal com uh, comparison points onto our part. This will produce some polylines, which again sends it to the uh, Vertex database ready to be projected. So if I now load in this file, and if I highlight all three layers, you can see all three parts are highlighted. And with that, if I now go back into Polyworks, I could go ahead and select those comparison points and tell Polyworks I wish to now probe them. And besides the audio tone to tell us how close we are, we now have a visual as well. And as simple as that.
Our third application that we're going to show off today is uh, showing us how uh, we can kind of highlight, uh, maybe in this example, uh, points that are out of tolerance. So rather than just projecting all these comparison points onto the body, like we did in the previous application, this application is designed to just kind of highlight uh, specific ones that are out of tolerance, specifically these measured ones here. So I've got the same, uh, I've opened up this new project with the same part, uh, same alignment, same scan, uh, but I've added in a couple of more comparison points and we've extracted from the scan data. Again, these don't have to be extracted, they could be from uh, probe data as well. Uh, but I've also simplified the colour map to give us an, a quick idea of which ones are passing, which ones are failing. So from that, I can then run this macro here, which will allow us to uh, export these failed ones out into a uh, file that, again, the Vertex system can read. But we've also uh, tailored the macro even more so where the ones that are failing, they're not just giving us uh, these dots on the uh, part. The actual dots will have annotations to go alongside with them to show us what the actual deviations are along with the name, which you'll see in a moment. So with that exported out, if I now go into um, Iris, open up our project, and you can see there we have our targets. So each of these now are showing us points which are failing and what the actual deviation values are. So that's our first target, that's our second point, third point, and our fourth point. So you can see their name, deviation. Thanks again, Naj, for joining us. Uh, thanks for showing us some awesome kit. How can the viewers get more information regarding this? Yeah, thanks, Keith. Uh, appreciate your support as well. Um, any questions on the Vertec, uh, the workflows today, uh, and also CareerForm, please get in touch with us directly at Measurement Solutions. Excellent. And if you've got any more questions regarding Polyworks, don't hesitate to get in touch with 3D Scanners UK.